Welcome to the Data Master Plus online videos. We will be demonstrating how to customize the data source, the verification source, and the sales price line within Data Master Plus. Please open your Data Master Plus, click on Customize Forms, and choose your form. Click on the verification source. We will edit that first and click line edit. I would like to edit how the doc number appears. I don't really care for the format, so I'll click on the edit button. You'll see at the top we're going to change it so it says doc num instead. If Data Master cannot find a doc number, I would like it to place none found on my field. And I would like it to be in a different format. You can do uppercase, lowercase, camel case, or upper first character, and I would like all uppercase. Click apply and save. Next I will click edit on the data date and here you can change your format styles for the actual doc date. Click apply. I'm going to click unapply for text replacement and if Data Master can't find a date again I would like it to say none. You can also add text before, so I would like to specify doc date and then have the date after. And again, you can choose your formatting here, and I would like it to be in all uppercase again. Click apply and save. You can see our changes here have been made. I'm going to go ahead and click save now, and I'm going to apply it to all of these forms. Now we will be editing the data source line. Click line edit on the data source. I'm going to change the formatting of the MLS number. You can add spaces. You can add other verbiage. I would like mine to say WFR MLS. If there's no MLS number, I would like it to say not not listed and I would like it to be all in upper place click apply and save and now I will edit you know what I actually do not want the days on market so I will click the subtract button and it takes it away and now I would just like it to say the WFR MLS and then the number and then I would like you to say public records. So I'll just simply type that on my appraisal report line. Click save. And apply it to the forms. Next we will customize the sales price. So we'll go ahead and we will click line edit. We already have the data tag in there, so I will click edit. If the sales price has data, it, Data Master will export the sales price. Otherwise, it will export the list price. Here you have options. You can change the decimal points. You can include separators or commas and you can also choose to include dollar signs which I will uncheck one of those boxes there if Data Master finds a zero it will replace it with no information but if it actually has blank and there's actually not a zero I want it to say none I'll click apply I would like it all upper place and then we'll click save 
and we'll apply this to the forms. And this concludes our Data Master Plus online video. Please give us a call if you have further questions. Thank you.